Welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 2-7 from RC Impeller Engineering Static 12 Edition. According to this problem, if Mp is equal to 2 kN and the resultant force acts along the positive Q axis, determine the magnitude of the resultant force and the angle theta. To solve this problem, we will use the parallelogram law of vector addition. For that, Let's draw the parallelogram. These are our x and y axes. This is our u axis. This is force Fk. And this is the force Fb. Now we have to draw here projections and this is the projection of the force Fe and this is the projection of the force Fb Now this angle right here is 30 degrees And this angle right here is theta. Now the resultant force is directed on the u axis. So this is our resultant force. Now we have to find the magnitude of the resulting force. For that we have to find some angles. Let's say we want to find this angle right here. Let's call this alpha. So if we consider the triangle O, A and B. So for alpha, consider triangle O, B and A. So from here we can apply the sine rule that sine alpha over Fa that is 3 kN is equals to sine 30 degrees over Fb that is 2 kN. So from here alpha is equals to 48.59 degrees. Now let's say that this angle right here is beta. So for beta, we have in some of the interior angles of triangle is equal to 180 degrees, which means alpha plus beta plus 30 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Since alpha is 48.59 degrees, which means beta is equal to 101.41 degrees. Now to find the magnitude of the resultant force, we can apply the cosine rule. So for Fr, we have Fr is equals to square root of 2 square plus 3 square minus 2 into 2 into 3 and cos beta that is basically cos 101.41 degrees. So from here Fr becomes Three point nine two kilonewtons. So this is our first answer. Now we have to find the angle theta. So for theta, if I zoom in, so if we consider this parallelogram, let's call this parallelogram as. O, A, B and C. 
so if this angle right here is theta which means that angle that is opposite to it must be also be the theta if this angle right here is beta which means angle opposite to it must also be the beta the angle beta and we know that for the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral it equals to 360 degrees the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral is equal to 360 degrees so 2 theta plus 2 beta is equal to 360 degrees since beta is equal to 101.41 degrees so from here theta is equal to 360 degrees minus 2 times of 101.41 degrees divided by 2 so from here theta is equal to 78.59 degrees now this is our second answer this is it for this problem i hope you will find this video helpful if you do please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates and if you have any questions 